Al-Isra wal Mi'raj and the obligation of prayer. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, keep up the prayer, bay zakah, and bow down in prayer with all who bow down. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. May Allah peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The journey of Al-Isra wal Mi'raj was full of divine grants and gifts from the Almighty Allah that were given only for this nation. One of the greatest grants given on that journey was the obligation of prayer that represents a connection between man and Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, 50 prayers were, this, were enjoined on me in every day. 50 prayers were enjoined on me in every day and a night. Then I descended till I met Moses. And then Moses said, what did your Lord enjoin upon your nation? I said, 50 prayers. Moses said, go back so that your Lord may reduce it for you and for them, because they would not bear that. I said, O oh Lord, please lighten our burden as my follower cannot do that. The prophet continued asking his Lord for reducing the number of prayers until Allah said to him, they are five prayers, bear day and night, and each prayer equals 10 in reward, and thus they are 50 prayer. The obligation of prayer on the night of Al-Mi'raj in the heavens is an indication of the, prayer, of the pr prayer's value and position. The obligation of prayer on the night of Al-Mi'raj in the heaven is an indication of the prayer's value and position. Prayer is a comfort of a soul, the life of a heart, and the light of a spirit. It is a spiritual ascension during which people ascend to their Lord, the Lord of the world. Allah said, prostrate in worship and draw close to Allah. The Prophet said, the closest, the closest that the slave comes to his Lord is when he is prostrating. The Prophet ﷺ also said, you should prostrate much, means perform many prayers. For every prostration that you perform before Allah will raise your position one degree and will remit, will remit one of your sins. Also, the obligation of prayer during the Mi'raj journey was a form of comfort for our Prophet ﷺ after the severe ordeal he experienced in the year that was called the year of grave. This is a sign that prayer is a reason for resting the heart. This is a sign that prayer is a reason for resting the heart. Allah said, we are well aware that your heart is whitened down by what they say. Celebrate the glory of your Lord and be among those who bow down to him and worship your Lord until what is certain comes to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, seek help. Seek help with, with steadfastness and prayer. Seek help with steadfastness and prayer. The Prophet said, my comfort is provided in prayer. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to tell Bilal, O oh Bilal, call Iqama for prayer. Give us comfort by it. The education of prayer from 50 prayers to only five indicates Allah infinite mercy for his servants and an indication of the easiness of the Islamic Sharia 
that calls for removing for hardship. Allah the Most High said, Allah does not burden any soul with more that it can bear. Also, Allah said, Allah wants ease for you, not a hardship. Also, the Prophet said, the religion of Islam is easy and, and said, Allah did not send me to be harsh or cause harm, but he has sent me to teach and make things easy. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his companions and followers. It goes without saying, the prayer is a communication between man and his creator. Glory be to him. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once said, Allah the exalted, exalted, had said, I have divided the prayer into two halves between me and my servant. And my servant will receive what he asks. When the servant says, praise be to Allah, the Lord of the universe, Allah the Most High says, my servant, my servant has praised me. And when a servant says, the most compassionate, the merciful Allah the Most High says, my servant has Lord in me. And when he, the servant, say, Master of the Day of Judgment, he remarks, my servant has glorified me. And when he, the worshiper, says, you alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help, Allah says, this is between me and my servant. And my servant will receive what he asks for. Then when the worshiper says, guide us in the straight path, the path of those whom you have blessed. Not those with whom you are angry, nor those who have gone astray. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is for my servant. And my servant will receive what he asks for. In addition, prayer has a wonderful effect on purifying one's soul, correcting one's conduct, and teaching good manners as the almighty allah says keep up the prayer keep up the prayer prayer restrains outrageous and unacceptable behavior a person who perform prayer shall not practice lie cheat betray or break his promises rather he should be embodiment of his ethics moving on the ground according to the command of Allah, our Lord. Our Lord, make us, uh, make us and for those who are descended and keep up prayer, our Lord, accept our invitations. Thank you.